read in the book of Matthew. In Matthew 5 verses 5, Jesus said, Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are the humble, for they will inherit the earth. Jesus says that God blesses those who are humble. But what does humble mean? Let's put on our idea hats and figure this out. Let's first talk about what it's not. Have you ever played a game or maybe been in a race? And when you're playing that game and you're running the race, have you ever won? Woohoo! And you won so much you had the desire to yell and scream and tell everybody just how great you are and better than them that you are? Well, maybe you have not felt that way. And maybe someone else has done that to you. Well, doing that is the exact opposite of being humble. Humble people win well. It's not that they pretend that they're sad or that they're mad. No. They don't act like winning doesn't exist. Humble people know how to put other people first, even when they're the ones that deserve the credit. Have you ever done something and then someone else who just helped you a tiny bit with it got all the credit? And you were like, wait, I did all of that. Being humble means you don't have to be first all the time. You don't call attention to yourself or want to be praised. You volunteer for jobs even when you know you won't be thanked for them. You care more about doing what's good for others than yourself. And you listen instead of talk. The cool thing about being humble is that Jesus says, humble people are blessed and they will inherit the whole earth. It's pretty easy to let someone else win if you know that one day, God will give you the whole earth. Boys and girls, it's time for our game show! Tonight, we're learning about the Beatitudes. Please join me in welcoming your host, Miss Sally! Thank you, Merle. Hi, everybody. Let's meet our contestants. From the rainforests of Southeast Asia, on the island of Borneo, meet Oren Yuritin. And from the streets of San Francisco, meet Rocco, the Rescue Dog. And from the treetops of the South American tropical forests, meet Solomon, the Sloth. Welcome, everyone. We are learning about the Sermon on the Mount and when Jesus shared the Beatitudes. Everybody ready? Here we go. Today our Bible verse is from Matthew chapter 5, verse 5. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Let's play. Question number one. Does meek mean A, being weak, B, being strong, or C, being humble. Solomon. Being strong. No. Oren, want to help him out? I think it means being humble. That's right. <laughs> Question number two. What does humble mean? A, to brag. B, to be a bully. Or C, to be a good sport. Oren. I think it means to brag. When you're humble, you do a good thing, so you're bragging. Uh, no. Roscoe, you want to help her out? I think it means to be a good sport. That's right. Good job, team. Let's take a short break and find out more about our contestants. Today's question is, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Let's start with Oren. Is orange sherbet. I love ice cream, all kinds of ice cream, every single flavor. I will eat it if you give it to me, but I like orange sherbet the best. Okay, Roscoe. Well, I like Rocky Road, marshmallows and nuts and chocolate ice cream. Oh, yes. And Solomon. My favorite is upside down cake. Truly? Is there a flavor called upside down cake? Okay. Let's get back to our game. Question number three, true or false? Jesus said the meek will be 
geeks. Roscoe, what's true? Oh. <laughs> no, Solomon, want to help him out? That is false. That's right. Jesus said, "Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth." Question number four: What does it mean to inherit the earth? A. To take care of it. B. To act responsibly. Or C. To be the boss. Solomon. To be the boss, of course. Oh. No. Orin, you want to help him out with that? Yes, it is to take care of it. Which, I mean, kind of means you're the boss of it. But more is just to take good care of it. When you inherit something from someone, they're trusting you to take good care of it. That's exactly right. To be the one who sees to its health and success. Great job today, everyone. We are out of time. Thank you for each playing. Come and worship with Mr. David. Who's ready to sing? Singing us gathered, he went up on a mountain. His disciples, they came up to him. When he opened his mouth, When you're sad, sometimes you feel empty. But God wants us to be filled with joy. So when he comforts us and fills us with his love, he gives us enough to share. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13.
It's been so great to get to sing with you guys. But now, now it's time to pray. So if you're with someone, go on and grab their hands. If you're by yourself, you can grab your own hands or you can give yourself a big hug. Quiet your bodies and close your eyes because it's time to pray. Abba Father, thank you for your promises that we find in your word. Thank you that you promise to always be with us and to comfort us when we're feeling sad or hurt. Help us to be the kinds of people that help others who are sad and hurt to be comforted. And comfort us now as we bring to you our hurts and worries. Thank you, God, that you hear us when we pray. Thank you for Miss Sydney and Miss Sally and all the work that they put into making epic, epic. And I pray for everyone who's watching it that they would have a great week, that they would know that you are near and that you love them and that you would help us to do our best and to be kind. And all God's children say,